No help has come for the 400,000 people under siege in Ghouta, and bombs continue to drop despite a humanitarian pause ordered by Russia. It was meant to last five hours a day, and buses, corridors and crossings were organised, but most people agreed it was never going to last. That is wholly inadequate. Five hours does not give and cannot give the opportunity for humanitarian assistance to get through. Instead, it seems Bashar al-Assad is getting the support from Russia, Iran, and now, according to a UN report, from North Korea. According to the as-yet unreleased report, North Korea has shipped at least 50 tonnes of supplies to the Syrian government to be used in the production of chemical weapons. According to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, two days ago, the Syrian army again used chemical weapons in Ghouta despite Russia having guaranteed a 2013 plan to destroy all of Syria's stockpiles. Russia and Syria will be held responsible for its chemical weapons attacks on innocent civilians in eastern Ghouta. And as the Syrian government continues its attacks, one of the main questions is how does North Korea bypass sanctions? So if North Korea is in fact supplying Syria with this, you have to ask who's helping them? Is it Russia? But for the people in Ghouta, it doesn't matter where the weapons come from. It only matters that they stop. And in the last couple of days, both the UK and France have said they would consider military action against Syria if the regime continues to use chemical weapons. It's not a red line, but it's a threat nevertheless. In London, Benjamin Hall, Fox News.